Hello and welcome to my laboratory. On today's episode, we'll be experimenting with resin and fire. Oh, I swear this gets tighter and tighter. So I'm sure most of you guys have seen the episodes where I cast a match inside of resin and light it up. Wow. Now on those videos I see a lot of comments where people want me to try sparklers. Now I think casting a sparkler is a great idea, but instead of casting the whole thing, I think it might be cool to leave out the tip, that way we can light it and see if it travels down through the resin. Now in addition to the sparklers, I've also got myself some extra long matches and some candles. And these are those trick candles that keep igniting. Now normally I cast my resin inside of these plastic cups, but as you can see, they've got ribs on the side and that's gonna make it a bit hard to see. So for this episode, I'm changing it up and using these ones. Now these cups have a slightly thicker wall and they can be a bit harder to get off the resin, but I'm willing to give it a go because worst case, we can just leave them on. Now before I go mixing any resin, the first thing I need to do is to suspend my pieces in the middle of the cup. Now I'm gonna do that by using a couple of toothpicks. I think that'll work. Now just to do it for the candle and the sparkler. Now that I've finished the three molds, we can start mixing up some resin. Now it's time to pop them in the pressure pot and watch them on pot cam.
While these are in the pot curing, I had a flashback to the wax episode. I really hope that candle survived. Oh no, it did melt. But the wick's still there, so that's a bonus. And look at the side of that cup. There must have been some serious heat in there. Oh, we've got some fractures on that one. Well, they're definitely not my prettiest castings. They kind of look like the Three Stooges, don't they? Now, although they don't look pretty, I think they should still work. We've still got the wick going down there, which will be okay. The fractures shouldn't affect us too much, and it looks like a bit of resin did soak into the wood, which may have an effect, but we won't know until we try. Now the next thing I'm going to do is pop off all these toothpicks, and then we can start. Look at all the wax sitting on top there. Luckily that shouldn't affect us too much. Now I'm going to light these up in what I feel is going to be the least successful to the most successful. So I'm going to start with the match because I'm a bit worried about the resin in the wood here. Then I'm going to go on to the candle because we're missing the wax. And then finally the sparkler, which is the one I have high hopes for. Okay, you guys ready? Here goes number one. Let's hope it doesn't go out. It's not looking good. And it's gone. Well, that was a bust. I guess when you think about it, flame does travel up. So I don't know if this is actually going to work. Maybe I'll try down at the base. Well, that's a bust, just as I thought it would be. Now I know this should go without saying, but please don't try this at home. I'm doing it in a well-ventilated area with all the safety equipment. So next up is the candle. Now what do you guys think about this one? Do you think it's gonna be better than the wood? Let's find out. Now remember, these are those trick candles that keep reigniting. So this will be interesting. You know what? This could take a while. We might have to come back to this one. Oh no, we're out. That's unfortunate. Let's have a quick go at relighting it. Oh, that was easy. And straight back out again. One more time. Nah, that's it. That's all she wrote. Another fail. So we've had no success from the match and the candle. So it looks like all that's left is the sparkler. Okay, you guys ready for this one? Let's do it. Wow, that's going fast. Here we go. We're getting close. Okay, we're there. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, I really thought that was gonna work. 
Oh no. It stopped right at the top. Wow, I really thought that was going to go through. Oh, what else could I try? I'm not even sure I could try anything else. Wow. I wonder if I could try and drill a hole in the bottom here and light it from there. I mean, we've got nothing to lose. We should give it a go. Well, you can see I've exposed the side of the sparkler there. Now let's see if I can get it to light up. Well, unfortunately, it just doesn't want to go. It looks like all I'm doing is lighting up the plastic cup. Well, I gotta admit, I'm a little surprised by that. Now, I didn't expect these two to do too well, but I did expect the sparkler to work. Now, I do realize that we need oxygen in order for fire to burn, and I thought that once it started to get down into the resin, it would create a bit of a cavity, allowing oxygen in. But unfortunately, that just didn't happen. Well, I guess with all experiments, there's a chance of failure, and this was definitely one of them. But luckily enough for me, I had heaps of fun making it, and I hope you guys had fun watching. Now, if there's an experiment that you'd like me to try, please let me know. Well, that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.